Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a snowman using foreground, middle ground, and background. I take three fingers from the top on the left and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a straight diagonal out, curve line down, straight line down, and stop right a little bit right before I stopped I draw a big curve line out in out to the edge of my paper I come straight down and right about here I'm gonna draw a big curve line down curve line down off the page right where this indentation is I'm going to continue my curve line keep going keep going till it's off the page. I come back on the right and I'm going to draw that line again until it comes to the edge of the paper. Okay? I come inside right about here and I draw a curved line. Starting on this upper side I draw a wavy line out, wavy line in, connect, I draw a little skinny line again, curved line across, connect. On the bottom, I draw little straight lines all the way to the end. Coming on the left part, I'm going to draw a pretty good sized circle on the left, jump over, a pretty good sized circle on the right. Starting back on the left, I'm going to draw baby circles. One, two, three, four, five. Now some of you might have to draw more, some of you might have to draw less, it's up to you. Now I come back up to this space where I stopped and I'm going to draw this line again across off the page. I come down to this bottom line and I'm going to draw it again across off the page. Okay? Now we're going to do the middle ground. This is the foreground. He's the closest to us. That's why he's the biggest. Okay, starting right here, I'm going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line off the page. Starting right about here, I do it again. Curve line, curve line, curve line off the page. If you have room, let's do one more row. Curve line, curve line, curve line off the page. Now I come back up and I finish my floating lines. Connect, 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 connect at the bottom. Connect, connect. Now I come back in if I have room and I draw another curve line down. Do it again, curve line. We're filling in the spaces that we just drew with more curved lines. Keep going, keep going. And the way you keep yourself straight is you do it by sections. So we're just going to fill this in by sections if you have room. If you don't have room, it's okay. If you do have room, go ahead and add little itty bitties right here at the bottom. Okay? This is our middle ground. So we have our foreground, we have our middle ground. One more part of the middle ground, everybody come up to the top and put a dot. You're going to go zigzag, zigzag, zigzag on the left. Come back to the dot, zigzag, 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 connect. At the bottom, one straight line, another straight line. Come over to the next, put a dot. Zigzag, zigzag, zigzag on the left. Come back to the dot. Zigzag, 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 connect. Straight line, straight line, connect. If you have room, one more, put a dot. Zigzag, zigzag, zigzag on the left. Zigzag, zigzag, connect on the right. Straight line, 
straight line. Okay, this is our middle ground, part of the middle ground on top of the snowdrifts. Now for the background. We're going to draw one straight line, two straight lines, three straight lines, and baby circle, baby circle, baby circle, baby circle, baby circle, baby circle on the ends. Move over, one, two, three straight lines, Baby circle, baby circle, baby circle, baby circle, baby circle, baby circle. We're working our way across our background. One, two, three straight lines. Baby circle, baby circle, keep going. All the way around. You can fit another one here. Straight line, straight line, straight line. Baby circle, baby circle, keep going all the way around one more one two three straight lines baby circle baby circle baby circle baby circle some of you might be able to fit one more in but i'm not going to squish mine i'm just going to leave it the way it is okay so i think that's all our drawing let's see how we're going to color this in okay your snowman is in the foreground so you want to color him really well. So I'm going to do his eyes black and his mouth black. Okay. Then I'm going to do his carrot nose. So I'm going to do this little strip up top. This is brown. And then I'm going to do the rest of his nose orange. Now you can do a traditional hat and make that black. But because I'm kind of a non-traditional person, I did mine purple. I don't know why. I just decided I'm going to do his hat purple just to give it a different look. And this is his hat. This should be purple too. Or whatever color you decide. Okay? This is all his hat. He's so big it's falling out. You can't even see the rest of his body and stuff. That's the foreground. It's so big you can't even see the rest of it. Then... For a pop of color, I did his headband, hatband, yellow. And then I came back down and I did his scarf. That's this section at the very bottom. I did the same colors. So I did yellow, I did purple. This is that section of his scarf. And again, it's so big you can't even see the whole drawing. And then I came in with some red because why not and I did that all the way across okay these this midground is all snow drifts so yahoo you don't have to color it so instead come up to your trees and I did these green just regular old green and then I did my tree trunks I did those brown Okay, and then the last thing I did was my background, and my background are the snowflakes. So I'm going to take my blue crayon and I'm going to color all the baby circles at the end of some of my snowflakes. Now some of you might go, hey, that looks like it's the same size as the middle ground. Okay, yeah, it does, but I'm going to add another element to really make sure that you know it is the background. And what I ended up doing is after I ended up doing all of these baby circles, I came in with my blue crayon and I really did polka dots. This is the background that I'm now using, little blue crayon circles all the way down and around. So it kind of envelops the trees gives you a break from the snow drifts down below puts the snowman a little bit more in perspective so it's all done with the blues now you can change the colors of all of this if you want to the main emphasis on this drawing is to have the foreground the middle ground and the background okay let's see what he looks like all colored in 
Okay, here's my snowman, all colored in, foreground, middle ground, and background. And you know, if you have sparkle paint, it would be fun to sponge paint some sparkle paint, maybe on the middle ground uh, snow. Okay, bye-bye.